several kinds of scale exist in geography, and no, none of them have to do with the scale that measures how much things weigh. Cartographic scale refers to the size of a feature on a map relative to its actual size in the real world. More about that in a bit. Analysis scale refers to the size of the unit at which a particular problem is analyzed, such as on a scale of a watershed or a neighborhood. Phenomenon scale, as referred to by Daniel Montello, refers to the size at which human or physical earth structures or processes exist, regardless of how they are studied or represented. They are all interrelated. For example, choices concerning the scale at which a map should be made depend in part on the scale at which measurements of Earth features are made and the scale at which a phenomenon of interest actually exists. Scale matters in lots of ways. How do we figure out how large these buildings should be when we build them? What about the shading? that the surrounding buildings would experience if a certain building was constructed. What about the scale of traffic on these streets? What about the, the width that these crosswalks need to be? So what kinds of standards do we need for everything that we build on the landscape? Also, scale matters when we're representing the real world onto a two-dimensional paper map or map on metal or on a two or three dimensional computer screen in a geographic information system. How do we represent this onto here? What is the scale factor required? That's what we'll talk about next.